Hey everyone, Leo here with uh, Digital Track, and in today's video, I'm gonna bring you this topic: five costly mit mistakes small businesses make with online reviews and tips um, that can be helpful to you as a small business owner that, um, to avoid these mistakes. So let's go ahead and get started. You as a business owner probably have come across online reviews and depending on the number of years you've been, of course, right? Uh, there's almost impossible that you don't come, you don't um, get across or it's almost impossible that depending on the number of years you've been in business that you don't come across with uh, bad reviews. Um, you know, nowadays it doesn't matter if even if you, it doesn't matter if you open your Yelp page or Facebook page or Google My Business page, it doesn't matter. People can do that uh, even without you realizing it that those pages are open. So, you know, might as well take control opening those pages. But let's go ahead and dive in with this topic, okay? Uh, don't let a minor customer service mistake explode on, into an online review catastrophe, right? Show the best of your business in review responses. So, a lot of um, how you respond to messages will have a, a great indicator to the world of how you are actually as a person as well, right? Um, or as a, as a business owner. So every small business owner knows how valuable word of mouth and marketing is. So that's where uh, paying attention to your online reviews comes is very important, right? Because that word of mouth experience, how you be helped, how you behave on, on um, to keep in track of your online reviews, it will help you increase your word of mouth or in different ways, right? Either for positive, for, for something positive or something negative, right? So obviously if, if you get good reviews all, most of the time compared to the bad reviews, that will help increase your word of mouth experience in a positive way while if you do uh, have a bad service, bad food, bad business, uh, that will help in, you know increase your word of mouth um, effects into a negative way, and obviously you know more than likely your business will suffer big time. But do you know that online reviews can be the digital equivalent? Okay, according to a Bright Local survey, eighty percent of customers trust online customers reviews. As much as personal recommendation, I think I see, I read before that um, that percentage could be even you know that the trust that people put into online reviews could be even greater than personal recommendations. So keep this number in mind: eighty percent of customers trust online customer reviews as much as personal recommendations. In the same survey, ninety-two percent say they read online reviews. So if you are putting your business name out there, right? Either be flyers, um, big media, posts on social media. Uh, you want to make sure you, you you have control what people see. What I mean by that is you cannot control people putting negative stuff um, about your business. However, by you um, making sure that you have control of all the different online listings about your business, of every single place that, where your business comes up, that you at least uh, know what the places are and that you have a way to uh, manage some of those uh, listings. Uh, clearly, online reviews have a big impact on small businesses. Uh, but like any other aspect of customer service, mistake, missteps can be costly, right? Here are the top five most common mistakes and how to avoid them. So number one, we have no tracking review, not tracking the reviews, right? So not tracking the reviews will help your business in a big time, you know, a big time you cannot, you, because you cannot manage reviews you don't know about, right? If you are totally isolated from the online world, you can, you, be, you may be saying, oh, no, that, uh, you know, I don't have time for online review. I'm old school. Uh, I don't believe in that. Uh, then how are you going to know what your customers are saying, right? Uh, one way to overcome that is using tracking system. One uh, simple tracking system you can use is Google Alerts, and it's free, right? You can just simply Google. You can just go to Google and type in Google Alert, and um, you can do stuff like um, 
related to your business, right? The name of your business. So if your business is called, um, let's say, um, what's a good example? I don't know. Let's say um, Solano Barbecue House, right? Barbecue House. I'm not even sure if I'm spelling correctly, so I can put that in. Or I can put Solano BBQ House, right? Something like that. Um, Sacramento Sushi. Um, the name of your business as well, right? And the, the, your phone number. All the information you can you can add it to Google Alerts, and whatever you add here, you can click the Create Alert button, and then you can tell it to okay how often you want to be notified. You want it to be as it happens, at most once a day, at most once a week, right? Depending how um, the number of time that your the alerts that you set up are mentioned. This is how this. Um, it, this is a t the how how often you want to be notified. The sources living automatically, languages, right? Region. Obviously, you want to do U.S. if you just want to focus on U.S. This is by country, so uh, you cannot put uh, state or anything like that. So you have to choose U.S. How many? Only the best results or all the results, and then deliver to, and you specify the email where you want people to email you the results, um, or <laughs> you you tell. Google where you want your results to be emailed to you. All right, so that's something that can help you uh, keep an eye on what people are talking about your business. Number two, we have another mistake you should avoid is not asking for reviews. Right, I cannot imagine, I cannot uh, stress that in, that enough. You have a lot of food traffic coming to your business already. If you do, right, why waste the opportunity on that? You 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 very well could have little. Uh, cards give away to say you know you know one dollar off on your next visit or five dollars off on your next visit and then by the way give us your feedback on um, on this specific site and you can put sites to Facebook Google Yelp whatever it is that you want to lead people to leave your reviews and you don't even need to incentivize them with coupons right but you cannot you can just simply put given the the card saying please leave us your feedback you know we want to hear about you please leave us your feedback in these places or um, I'll put a flyer right at the checkout line if you do have something like that. So there's already food traffic you have coming in. Why waste it? Um, let people know where they can, uh, you know, provide feedback about your business. Um, that's just one idea, right? And then obviously you can do other things like, for example, for businesses that I work with, right? We send email marketing, right? Email marketing is... It's basically your business uh, sending email communications to people that want to uh, to people that want to stay uh, receive emails from you, right? Your customers that want to receive emails from you, you can use different tools for that, right? There's email marketing tools you can utilize. You can simply uh, Google email marketing, uh, email marketing tools, or software or some or services, right? Uh, software, for example. And then you'll find a list of different tools, right? Uh, obviously, one very popular one is uh, Constant Contact. Um, then we have something like MailChimp um, and so many, many other others that you should be checking out for your business. They don't have to cost a lot. Um, there are even some that are free, so you should explore the different options. So um, we already mentioned so far about you know asking for customer reviews. You can utilize... Um, you can utilize print media in your location, right, in your physical location, so that people are aware that you would like to he hear from them and the feedback. You can utilize email marketing if you are uh, collecting information from your clients, right, might as well um, let them know where you will, you would like to hear from them about their feedback, their experience. Um, other things you can do is obviously um, utilize other Platforms, depending where you are, you know, text messaging, Facebook messaging, etc. So don't have any reviews. That's gonna be too bad for your business. All too often, small businesses don't encourage customers to go online and leave feedback. Why would not you not do this, right? Um, ask them. I, there's nothing wrong with asking your customers if they can leave your feedback. Uh, the the bad thing is not doing it, right? 
Whether you use print to card or an email, you should make a habit of politely asking customers to review your business, especially right after you completed a transaction or provided service. Okay, that's an opportunity for you as well to continue to stay in contact with that customer. If you are a, a business owner that values the relationship with your uh, customers, um, I think you should take advantage of something like this because it gives you a way to continue to stay in contact with the customers, especially if you know that the value that you provide with your services or products uh, help your help them, right? Uh, number three mistake you should avoid is not responding to reviews. Responding to online reviews, good or bad, shows that you care about what customers have to say. Take the opportunity to let your customers service shine by saying thank you to a positive review and apologize to negative reviewers with an offer to try and resolve the problem. This approach will impress new customers as well when they see the comments. So, and also there's other benefits that you should take advantage of in regards to responding to reviews, right? And one of the biggest advantage is that, especially responding to great reviews or positive reviews is that that also help your uh, local SEO. What I mean by that is that it helps your business rank higher um, by using specific keywords, right? So for example, if I'm looking for, um, I don't know, um, Italian uh, food in Fairfield, um, some of the things that may come up here in the results may be things what people are saying about specific business. Now this is not, I don't have any example here, but um, I, you know, there are situations where if you, for example, say something about your business, um, Itali let's choose for example, Evelyn's Big Italian, right? Um, this is a great pizza place that I love. Things that people say about your business may come up in the search results depending on what people are looking for. So for example, right, if people are looking for, um, you know, great pizza place atmosphere in Fairfield. Um, stuff like this may come up thanks, your business may come up thanks to what actually what people are saying, right? And then if you repeat it in some way back to your customers by saying, hey, um, so and so, thank you for, um, you know, um, you know, thank you for saying that we are a great pizza place. Thank you for your feedback, right? We thrive, we, we, we definitely, do our best to make a great pizza for our customers and to make the, this one the nicest atmosphere possible in Fairfield, right, for families and make it really friendly service staff. You know, so if you say things like that, like repeating in acknowledgement what your customers are saying, uh, that reinforces Google that if somebody's looking for, um, you know, uh, places in Fairfield with good food and, and, and family friendly. Right, that things, these words may come up in fair and back in, in Google when people are searching for something, especially if you repeat it. Now, the other nice thing about it, if you repeat it, you can also put your business name information there, right? Um, so that people, so when the, that comes up in the, in the search results, people will know that that is coming from you, right? So, for example, um, let's see, make pusas in back of it. Let's choose best poo poo says in back of mail. Right, so for example, if I choose something like this, um, you'll see something that comes up is where the reviews, right? Uh, what else? Best poo poo says in back of mail. Review poo poo says. Um, this is a bad review, so it's not a good example. Uh, this is a great reviews, and again, that comes up again because of great reviews. Um, I, I, this as well comes up on uh, because of reviews, right? Reviews, excellent place, Salvadorian food, service, water, right? So this is a place I work with, a Caracol Mexican restaurant. And as you can see that, um, um, let me just show you here real quick. We, we tend to pr be proactive in responding to a customer and also provide the information about our business, right? Address, phone number, just so that people know whenever we respond to something, uh, the, the information or branding is also continuing to show up, right? A Caracol Mexican restaurant, your, your address, etc. So that's another great thing about um, responding to your reviews. So do not go that, let that go to waste. I know it takes time, but you can always have somebody to help you, okay? 
number four for mistake number four is not offering uh, a way to resolve the issue offline right when you respond to a negative review how about you include a phone number or an email address for people to contact you uh, directly it is just so much better to sort it out um, the, this issue that your customer is going to have in private right rather than engaging a long back and forth online where other potential customers can see it especially because um, this there's no point in going back and forth right uh, try to take that off, uh, in a different way if you can right you, all you can do is basically offer your phone number or email address um, so that people can connect with you um, there, there's nothing there's no a lot of damage from that why waste your time of continuing going back and forward in um, uh, in public right mistake number five is posting argumentative comments no matter how ugly or incorrect a negative review might be it is vital that you respond calmly and professionally right do not engage in a public spat it makes your business look bad it reflects your bad personality as well remember you know even if you are not that way all the time that is posted already there and it's gonna be hard to make that go away so don't let that get to your head you know think best about your business and your clients uh, instead of focus on resolving issues offline when possible and diluting negative reviews with lots of positive ones from happy customers so bad reviews will happen right but if you are a great business owner if you have a great business that you know you get for every 20 great reviews or for every 10 great reviews you get a bad one so what right just continue to provide your great service just continue to provide the, your great food your great service your great product and people will continue to leave to leave your great review especially if you ask them right um so bury those bad negative reviews yes if it was a, a, an honest mistake that your business may solve it right own it um, take ownership on that um, and then let's move on right let's continue to we can even take that bad negative review if it's a legitimate negative feedback we can use that to uh, improve our business uh, or if it's just the just garbage review right meaning somebody just put one star and don't mention anything uh, what are we gonna do about it right we cannot do anything about it because we don't know what happened um, but at least you can uh, say something like hey I'm sorry you know um, we you know you can say something like a one review if if it's something that you feel that you didn't get the service that um, you didn't get the proper the, the, a great service from us here's my phone number here's my email so we can so um, you can call me or email me directly and we can discuss this further offline you know if you can if there's uh, if, if you are interested in learning more about why the person left a one bad review a one star review and not say anything um so that's all i have for you hopefully um this mistakes is something that you can avoid and hopefully the, t the tips I, I provided help you to um uh, overcome those mistakes if you need further assistance, you can visit my website, digitaltrack.co. My contact information is there, right? This is my cell phone. You can reach me at 707-410-0307. Um, you can also text me there. This is my direct email. And also, if you scroll down to my website, you're going to see my different social media channels. So you can follow me, contact me there as well, uh, especially if you have further questions about these topics, right, mistakes. Um, that small businesses that we can do that we may do as a, a small business owners in regards to uh, online reviews hopefully that help you if you like this type of contact content feel free to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube right make sure to click the uh, little bell so you can notify when uh, I pr provide more content like this or if you would like me to send you email notifications whenever I provide new content like this um, just send me an email and let me know that you would like to be added to my newsletter. I need to put something in um, in my page, right, to see if uh, people are interested in receiving my newsletter with content like this. Um, also, I got a question from for you, right? What sort of uh, mistakes you you um, 
from this list or other lists you experienced before reference to reviews and what have you done to overcome them right let's help the community over here if you are again if you are a business owner and um, you have experienced one of these uh, mistakes here in this list or or uh, something else that is not in the list please let us know let us know which one was it and how do you overcome those issues or what tips can you provide to avoid those issues all right have a good one bye